Uh, how was today? It was awesome. It was a great experience. Um, the fact that everything is to local charities makes it even better. You know, I had so much fun playing with guys like Will Lutz, and I had a great partner, uh, Barstool um, Riggs. So it, it was so much fun. Had a great time, and happy we were able to come out on top. Riggs came through clutch there at the end there. He huh? did. That was a hell of a he did. He had two uh, great holes. So he he had the whole the third hole. He actually tied us going into the last one. So and he finished it off with another great putt. So I'm thankful for that so very very excited um this offseason uh what have you been i know you had the injury last year you were able to come back from this year uh, yeah what was kind of just been kind of your goal this offseason to get closer, yeah. closer to otas and obviously trying to get yeah just uh stay on top of my body uh build where i had uh some weaknesses in the past uh so definitely an injury focus this whole offseason so the plan is to be 100 percent the whole year so that's on my mind and um, I can't expect anything less than that. So it's it's got to be a go time for me. Stay healthy and, and stay on the field. When healthy, though, I mean, you weren't just playing good. You were playing great last year. I mean, would you say the game is kind of you're there mentally when it comes to the game, uh, the, the speed of the game, everything when it comes to transition to the NFL? Yeah, I would say I'm surrounded by great people, great teammates, great, great coaches. So they put me in great positions to excel. And um, I'm thankful for the great year I had. But then again, it relates back to uh, let's just extend that so we can uh, – keep going and going and going so um, but just stay healthy and but I'm very thankful to be with great coaches and, and great players among me. Eventually you got hurt you were like leading the NFL in total tackles I mean what kind of confidence does that stretch of the season give you heading into your year? It gives me a lot of confidence. Confidence. It knows. It shows me what I'm capable of and as long as I stay locked in and, and trust the whole process and uh, stay true with my routine as far as game week to game week, then I know I'm building up something special. How, how do you feel right now? I, mean, I feel great. Uh, it's good to be back here in New Orleans doing a little training, um, meeting with everybody, all the trainers and, and strength staff and coaches. So uh, I feel great right now, just uh, ready for OTAs to start. As will the same question, but how, how can golf be like football or in your position linebacker? Yeah, I feel like golf, it's a tough game. Football is a very tough game as well, but you get to use uh, your little competitive spirit in there as well. I'm very competitive, so I don't necessarily, I can't be physical, but it's more of a mental game. So I would say the game of golf helps my mental game leading into football. Um, but it's pretty cool that you can compete and not necessarily overuse your body in certain things like this. So um, it's very relatable, uh, more of a mental game. Can you talk about the shout out the tree on eight? Yeah, so I had a really, really bad drive, and it went straight in the, in the what, what do you call that? The, the, forest. the, the forest. Yeah, it, it was it was a scavenger hunt over there, but uh, found my ball and had about 110 to the hole, and with a tough lie, so I I got it there close, and uh, that was that was a pretty cool shot having the birdie opportunity. How exciting is the, the draft coming up? I mean, Mitch Lowe was just talking about Cam, but yeah. you know welcoming new guys to the team, but also the dynamic of what position are we getting, you know, is, yeah. that, is that a conversation you've had? Uh, yeah. It's not necessarily, I, we're very, very excited, uh, and adding great young players to our team is always a plus. Um, just being able to be in the position where I'm at now to be able to help them going in as far as learning the playbook and really help these young guys on their journey is, is huge. I know I used a lot of guys um, that were in my position now when I was a, a rookie. Uh, so very excited for it. Definitely looking forward. Do you think the Saints are going to add another linebacker this year? I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I mean, I would hope so. I would want to learn from him and have him learn from me as well. So we'll see when that comes. Um, you mentioned you feel fine now. After having that surgery and coming back so quick, how did you feel at the end of the season? And like, did you have to have follow-ups or anything to kind of get back to 100%? Uh, when I when I played towards the end of the season, I would I was 100%. So I was going, um, and I've had no issues with the injuries I had leading up until when I was cleared. So uh, I, I'm okay now. That's not even in my thought process now. I'm just kind of ready to get out and play some football. So is the off-season program start? This week we were just talking about that. We thought yeah. it started this week, but yeah. So it's it's remember. it's broken up into a different phases. Um, so basically, we got a lot of strength and conditioning uh, rolled up until the start of OTAs, which I think are late May, early June. So yeah. Yeah, quicker than it, quicker than you think, right? Yeah, quicker than you think. You think the lof, long off season is uh, is great until uh, you get a. You got to come back pretty early, but everybody's so excited. There's only a little bit of break time that we get until we start itching back for football. So uh, we're definitely excited to be in the building.
Is it uh, hard to just give y'all anything to read in the off season? Anything to read? No, but he's always sending us quotes, and uh, I'm sure if he has any recommendations, he'll let me know. I feel like he's always got some book up his sleeve. He does. Yeah, he gives it. He gives one uh, to us uh, every year, uh, usually leading into camp. Um, so just pick out the little quotes from there, and I, I think it's a great thing that he does. All right, thank you guys. Yeah.